Finding a good clothing manufacturer is so crucial for your business and it is one of the most challenging aspects, especially when you are a startup brand. There are so many factors to consider, such as finding a good manufacturer that is both time and cost efficient and will deliver you the best quality products. So if you want to learn how you can find a good cut and sew manufacturer and where to find them, then keep watching this video to learn more. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Stephanie, your host of the Start Your Fashion Business channel. If you want to learn about all things fashion business, then you have come to the right place. I'm a sustainable brand owner and an ethical garment producer, and I'm also a fashion business coach. I've been in the fashion industry for over 12 years, and I'll be sharing my experiences and tips on how to run a successful fashion business. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss any of my content. And I also invite you to check out my previous videos for more tips on fashion business. Okay, so you are here today because you want to learn how to find a good manufacturer and a reliable factory that can produce your clothing line. The first step that you need to do before you start looking for manufacturers is to really find out what exactly it is that you want to make. You need to get familiar with your products because many fashion entrepreneurs have this common misconception and they think that every manufacturer can create every product under the sun and this is not the case. So it's really important for you to understand what exactly it is that you're trying to sample and produce so that you can find a good manufacturing partner that can make this happen for you. So it's really important for you to figure out if there are any specific techniques or special ways of manufacturing this product. And if you don't have this information yet, then you first must do your research before you start reaching out or looking for your manufacturers. You must also decide whether the location of your manufacturer is going to be a deal breaker for you. For instance, if you want to be able to visit your manufacturer, then you want to find a local manufacturer, whether it's in the vicinity of your city or your state or your country, for instance, but this is going to play an important role in your search mode. Now, there's no right or wrong answer because this just comes down to what you're comfortable with and what you need for your business. Many fashion brands work with manufacturers overseas and you know it's not always daunting and overwhelming. In fact, there are great manufacturing partners all over the world, but it's important to understand what they're good at. For instance, in China, they're very cost effective because they process bulk orders in comparison to somewhere like India, where they're very skilled at handwork and they're you know, specializing in beading and sequining, which is something that Chinese manufacturers don't really do. So it's important to understand this. When I started my brand, This Is A Love Song, it was always very important for me to find a local manufacturer because I wanted to be able to visit them and most importantly, I wanted to be able to support the local economy and the local community. So even though manufacturing in Bali isn't as cheap as Bangladesh or China, for instance, the price factor wasn't the deal breaker for me. So, you know, this is going to look different for your business, but it's important for you to establish your non-negotiables, especially in what you're looking for in your manufacturing partner. Another common misconception that many fashion entrepreneurs have is that all manufacturers are able to do everything from helping you with your designs, creating your tech packs, sourcing your fabrics and your trims, and creating your pattern blocks, and this is not the case. Most manufacturers, they focus on sampling and production services. So you'll have to find your own design partner and your own material partner, unless you can have this ready when you want to work with your manufacturer. My manufacturing company, Tal Studio, is one of those manufacturers that can do everything. We are a one-stop shop for apparel and swimwear. So if you are looking for a manufacturer that can help you with everything, then definitely get in touch with us. We have a link below in the description box with our website, so feel free to get in touch with us if you need help. However, even we have limitations, so again, it's really important for you to understand what it is that you want to make. If, for instance, you want to create a winter wear collection with wool jackets, then you want to find a manufacturer that really specializes in this. And typically, a manufacturer like this wouldn't also create swimwear under one roof, I mean, if you can find a manufacturer that does it all, then I would love to hear about it and you can, you know, drop that in the comments below. 
Um, but like I said, it's really important to find a manufacturer that specializes in certain categories because you don't want to work with a manufacturer that can do it all, but it lacks in quality. Besides establishing what you want to make, you should also know your MOQ or your minimum order quantity and establish a budget and have that in mind. This will allow you to sort through the manufacturers that you initially contact in a more efficient way. One more thing that you want to consider is whether or not you want to work with an ethical manufacturer, which of course is very important if you want to start an ethical or sustainable fashion brand. Now, if you want to learn more about starting a sustainable or ethical fashion brand, then I invite you to check out this video for more information. So again, if it's really important for you to work with an ethical manufacturer, then you definitely need to include this in your keyword search when you're looking for your manufacturer. So now that you know what you want to make and where you want to make it and how many pieces you want to produce, you want to start going online to do your research. So the most simple place is google.com and you want to go here and create your search keyword that consists of key points such as the clothing category, the location and the type of manufacturer. So this can be something like ethical manufacturers in Australia. If you wanted to find a manufacturer in Australia, for instance, and you would just simply type that in and then let Google do its magic for you. From here on, you will get all the search results. And this can be a mix of the direct contacts of the manufacturer or an agent that can help you work with specific manufacturers or even online uh, manufacturer directories, which is really, really great. Now there's just a ton of wealth on Google. So it's really important for you to do your own due diligence. And I really suggest to have Google Sheets on the side where you can create something like this. And this will just keep track of every manufacturer that you find. So all of your contacts are in one place before you start, you know, reaching out to them. I would also check out social links of the manufacturers. So if you happen to find a manufacturer and they have an Instagram, hop on over to their Instagram to really get a feel for the company and see if they post their clients uh, production as well. Now, of course, not all manufacturers would do that because if they sign an NDA, then they're not allowed to post anything. So it's, it shouldn't be a deal breaker as long as you can really trust your manufacturer. Obviously, this process can be very tedious and requires a lot of legwork and time, but it's also absolutely necessary for you to find a good and reliable manufacturing partner that can help bring your vision to life and deliver amazing quality products. Over the years, I've actually compiled a list of trusty manufacturers that I've personally vetted and I'm sharing this exclusive supplier and manufacturer list inside the Start Your Fashion Business Accelerator program. Now, if you want to join my program, then check out the video that's going to pop up at the end of this one and watch that video to get an exclusive discount that you don't want to miss if you want to join the Start Your Fashion Business Accelerator program. And as always, I appreciate your support and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to smash the like button and also share it with any other fashion entrepreneurs that you know. And if you have any questions or comments, drop them below. Let me know what else you want to see and I will also see you next week.